Good morning, guys. So welcome to the end of the crazy weekend. We were, we had a crazy weekend. I can't even tell you. It was wild, it was adventurous, it was noisy, it was so messy, and there was a lot of cooking, a lot of cleaning, although the house is in such a huge mess right now. There was a little bit of fighting, and there was a little bit of crying, but I promised I stopped really fast. No, just joking, it wasn't me. It wasn't me crying. A little bit of crying, a little bit of screaming, a little bit of fighting between siblings, but we made it through, we all survived, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I love my grandkids. I love when they come, even through the good times and the hard times. Was it hard, Sam? It's hard to go back. It's hard to go back. Remember, go slow because of what happened. Before. Yeah, remember, go slow. Oh, good snow tires. Oh, my van has good snow tires. I'll just go slow anyway. Anyways, whoa, oh, he's trying to kill us. Yeah, you still want to go slow. Anyways, it, I'm so happy to have had my grandkids for the weekend. I oh look at that big hawk. Now that we are farmers, you guys, sorry to change the subject. The so. Yeah, now that we are farmers, I look at hawks in a whole new way. Sophie says it was a raven, and that's okay. I don't like ravens either anymore. But anyways, we still got some kids. We got the good one. Well, I shouldn't say that. We still got some good kids with us. Where are we going, Brooklyn? To a baby shower. We're going to a baby shower. Baby shower. So, I babies can't have showers. <laughs> so my niece, you guys saw, she came, I videoed like a few months ago where she came and she showed me that, told me that she was pregnant. So we're going to her baby shower. I'll try and video because I love my family. I love all of our family. I love Sam's family too. I know when I videoed in the summer, my family, some people were worried about me not loving Sam's family or us not spending enough time with them, but we love Sam's family too, especially his mom and his dad. They're amazing. Anyways, today is about my family because it's a baby shower, it's a celebration. We're gonna meet Stacy, uh, we're gonna meet Stacy, um, who is Brooklyn and Jacob's mom, at the baby shower, and we're gonna eat till we drop. They always have the best food at their, at their parties. So anyways, we're super excited. Lots of videos to come. I have Gabby's riding video. Like we just have a lot of videos coming out soon. Wait, we just have a, we just have a few videos coming out soon. We got behind over the weekend, and if you're worried about wondering about, did you post? Oh, I didn't even video edit today's video yet. Come behind because I'm telling you, it was crazy. Anyway, we'll see you guys at the party. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed spending time with my grandkids as much as I did. There's all this food here at this party, and Jacob picked what? What did you pick to eat, Jacob? Har. One, one tona. Is it hard? No, it's hard. Hard? Hard, hard, hard. Show them the donut. Can you guess the gender of the baby? I don't think I ever updated you guys. Show them. Show them the front. Show them the front yeah, of the donut. Give me, give me your um. Give me oh, your thing. I don't have one. There's a thing, if somebody says the B-A-B-Y word, they get your, yeah, your then, clip. I can't say the, I can't, I can't say the B word. What's the B word? <laughs> if you say the B-A-B-Y word, you lose your, your clip and then you don't win a prize. How many do you have, Brooklyn? I have one. <laughs> I didn't get one. You didn't get one? No, but look at my family's over there at their own table. I cheated? Wait, no. They cheated? Dad did. Dad cheated? Oh, well, one thing you should know about your dad, Sophie. His whole family, they cheat. <laughs> All right, come on, I'm gonna film. I'm just gonna watch you guys. They're gonna play the present. Should I just like, steal those? Everybody keeps saying that. All my kids keep coming over here saying, should I just steal those? I literally won that game. Do you do the Isn't that crazy? I won that game. Let's, let's do the one. Here, I already have it. And I did this one too, and I think it's all right. It's the Wait, diaper. I put my name. All right. I literally can't believe I won. I won too. <laughs> Show them what I won. No, you cheated. They broke the mine. I mean, I cheated. They cheated. Sam, don't teach our kids to cheat. Me? How did you cheat? 
I circled them when I was going. Oh my god! I did, the first one I did, I made I made two mistakes because I was thinking nobody was gonna get the hundred percent. Obviously, do we hear about? Yeah, go hand it in. No, go we're ahead. gonna go guess. No, I already guessed. Mine are all right. I gotta guess still. Here. All right, you go guess. I will raise. All right, so I want to show you guys what they did. So this is the food place, but look at Brooklyn. Did you see this? Look, it's a hot chocolate station. So you get a cup of hot chocolate. It's got whipped cream, all the toppings that you would want to put in it. And then it has like little cookies. You want some? You want me to carry it for you? Can you carry this for me? Sure. All right, yeah. All right, whoa, careful. All right, so we are home. And even when you have like a bunch of people sleep over for the weekend or you go to a baby shower, you always got to go and do chores before you go. That's like ice. I'm wearing the wrong boots. And you always have to do chores when you get back. But it's 5.30 p.m. and I can still see light, you guys. It's still light out. Look, it gives me hope for spring. It's me because there's a layer of ice on it. <sighs> Whoa. Anyways, today I made the choice to leave the goats in. And it's the first time I think I've left the goats in because it was so bitter cold. It's just awful weather. Whoa. Like literally, it's so hard. Whoa. Like you're afraid to walk. Oh. Like you literally have to go so slow because oh, it's like you're gonna break an ankle. It's literally taking us double the amount of time it takes to get to the barn. Ooh, because everything is in a rut. Phew, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness we made it. Did you guys want the poop So. Um, I don't know if I remember to tell you that my niece Jasmine is having a baby boy. Yeah, I think I did tell you. I'll leave everybody in today so that I can keep the barn warm. At least as warm as I could. And because half of our, well, half of our goats are pregnant. And I wanted to make sure that they're all okay, like nobody gets hurt. Whew. It is cold. on the table the floor has been swept it's closing time and I'm a little tired it's a long time since I've slept the things are moving forward Ooh, you know it's cold because everybody is eating oh how'd you guys get out everyone is eating so much more than normal I'm ready to move on for a brand new start at the break of dawn. Here I come, you better watch out, you better beware, the rumor is out, nothing can stop me, I'm going for cold, I'm out of the dark, I'm out of the cold. Here I come, you better watch out, you better beware, the rumor is out, nothing can stop me, I'm Ooh. going for cold. It's so cold! What are you guys doing? This 
go on this duck. I've never seen a duck fall in love so much. But, and it's just been recent. It's literally just been recent where uh, she just all of a sudden has looked to Sophie for love. Did you feed them? Oh, look at how cute she is. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. You she's such a cuddle bug. I know. She's so, but she only loves you. The goat, the goose is more mine. My being attacked by Leo. <laughs> Here, try and hold her. You have to hold her. She's so. Okay. It's I just get the feeling that she does not like me. <laughs> she is warm, though. Oh my she... god. She's warm. I know. It's freezing out, and she's so warm. I'm rubbing her belly. She's like, don't touch me. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna put her down. Let's hold Leo for a second, too. All right, well, let me feed these dogs. All right. Oh. I have to stand in here and make sure that everybody gets the fair share of grain. But I want to show you guys their bellies. So, do you guys see that's her baby side? That's basically how chunky she is. And that's her baby. Yeah, and that's her baby baby. <laughs> but that's how fat she is. This is the side that holds the babies. But what I really wanted to show you was this one up here. I oh, just wait. We can't see. Hold on. The problem with this one is that she won't let me look at her. Her. I want you to feel the boots. Well, what do you think I was trying to do? Okay. So, yeah. look at this one over here. Wait. Try and see this one. If you can see how fat she is. Like when she turns around from behind. She's like almost square. Of course, now I can't see her. <laughs> she's, she's gone in the house. <laughs> she's like, you will not see my belly. I like to stand here and look at their belly and look at them each night to see like how... Oh! There was nothing in that one. Either. No, there was. But I like to see in here. I like to sit in here and just like look at them each day. To see if I can see, like, guess how many babies they're having. I dreamed that this white one under here had three babies. And to me, she looks really big. But goats can, just like people, goats can carry differently. We can't even see her milk. We can't even see her udder because she won't let us. And she's like, what is wrong with you, mama? <laughs> but anyway, I really want to see. That's, like, a huge problem with buying goats that you didn't have that weren't, like... That's a big problem about having goats that you didn't raise because she's not friendly. She's not super friendly. She won't let us touch her. She'll come up to us and she's not bad, but she's not friendly, especially not friendly enough that we can like manage her, touch her. Hers is like shriveled up peanut. Good, because she's not pregnant. Your name's not Titty. <laughs> she's such a good girl. So these two brown ones are the friendliest that we have, like the friendliest older goats that we have. Hey, hey be, be nice. nice to her. Anyway, it looks like we're... She's, she's getting feisty. Looks like we're not going to be able to see her udder tonight, but this mom doesn't look as big to me. Her head just popped out. Blossom's feisty now. There are certain angles though. Certain angles though. Here, I'll catch her. All right. Okay. Tilly. Like. The Sit your butt down. <laughs> Tilly. Oh my God. Stop I doing the spin cycle. <laughs> See how big she looks? From a, on top. Well, you can't tell. Oh, Rex, her call is we felt her udder. <laughs> and it's growing. She is growing an udder for sure. Blossom's becoming, becoming feral. This one is feral. Like, I don't know what we're gonna do. Hopefully, like, she just burst those babies and they just come flying out because getting to be able to help her is gonna be oh, awful. I know. She, she makes me happy. <laughs> she's so cute. Her mom makes me happy too, even though she's not as friendly. And he, he makes me happy. And she makes me happy. 
I know, tomorrow you guys are gonna go out, I promise. We're gonna do our CD and T shots for the birth. Get everybody ready. Rockyado, look at you. He's pretty cute. That's just a goat. The problem that I am having with having goats in winter is that I feel really bad when it's cold. I know they have like warm blankets on and stuff and I know they have lots of hay and straw and stuff to keep them warm. I know they're inside, sheltered. Come on. And I know that they're safe. Did you get the did you get the duck and the goose water and food? It just I'm I just don't I gave I, hay because you dropped a piece of hay and then she loved it. I just hate that they're cold. Like I just always feel like they're gonna be cold and that uh, hurts me. Even when I was a little girl, I've always been sensitive about my animals and my dolls and anybody being cold. Like I just don't as a mom, I don't want anybody to be cold and such a long night when you're freezing cold but anyway i just have to trust and believe that they're going to be warm enough anyway that is it for today's video i'm sorry if it was super short but it was a crazy weekend we'll be back with you tomorrow for more adventures on our farm see you guys later don't you know that you're beautiful